<laughs> oh boy, this is so good. Hey, Obama, guess what? Let me blow some smoke up your ass. <laughs> Don't you love it, guys? Don't you love it? Yeah, Obama days are over. 12 years of Obama. Yeah, you had Joe Kamala and all this stupidness. Yeah. Uh, it's all been Obama, 12 years of that fool. Oh, it's over. Here, have some more, old bummy. Old bummer, you're a beauty. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. Everybody say a prayer to the Lord. I told the Lord, guys, I, that night, I went to bed early. I did. I, I went to bed and uh, I said, please, Lord, we need help. Please come down to earth and help us. We need we need Donald back. We, the, we, oh, please, we don't need any more of the stupid. Oh, do, Democrats, guys. I call them Democrats. Unbelievable what's been going on, but anyway. Four years of stupid, it's over, okay? Stupid old bummer, it's gone, it's over. Now they're gonna keep fighting us, but I'll tell you what, guys. We're none of us are letting go of our guns, no. No, you're gonna have to pry them out of our cold, dead, rigor mortis hands. We're hanging on to our guns, guys. Yep, we're gonna blow some smoke, guys. We're gonna blow some smoke. I gotta play peekaboo, guys. Today's peekaboo day. I got a peekaboo in these hives, but I just thought I'd touch base with you a little bit on our success in America. This is how America works. We are strong individuals. We love America. You don't love America, Whoopi Goldberg and all your bunch on The View. Get the hell out of here, okay? Go to Venezuela, camp out in the jungle, okay? Maybe the cartel will find a job for you to do, all right? Please, go. You're going to be in America, th think like an American, hardworking Americans. That's what we are. That's what we do. We're going to make it better. I want, Steve-O wants in 25, good gas prices, drill baby, drill, frack, frack, frack. I want good sugar prices. Everything's run by crude oil. No electric school buses. Yeah, I hear the other day, Joe and Kamala, and old Joe had that, doled out a whole crap load of freaking uh, taxpayer money on a school bus deal, billions. And now all the money's gone. It's the whole thing's bankrupt. Oh, where did that money go, guys? Whose account did that go into? Like Mr. Trump said, guys, we, we you know, the, these these people need to be un, not in jail, under the jail, right? But who's got time for all this crap? We gotta we gotta get America great again, and we can't do it when we're playing clown games in in court. No. All these attorneys are just going to run around making a ton of money. The rest of us are going to take it in the shorts. So anyway, there's cool things coming, guys. There is some cool stuff coming in 2025. Yeah, my main man Trump, he's putting some cool people on board. Elon, Elon Musk. He's put RFK on. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm on. I'm on the same. You know me. You you guys have been following me for years. Uh, RFK and I are on the same page. All right. And I don't know how long he's been into this physical fitness stuff, whatever. I've been in it quite a long time, and 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 it's carnivore diet. And carnivore is key, as far as I'm concerned. But he is going to get up some hiney. RFK is going to get up some hiney on this crap they've been feeding to our, our kids. Yeah, Cheerios and Fruit Loops in the pure food pyramid. Are you flipping kidding me, bro? It's poison. He talks about everything, guys, about 
just like in Fruit Loops and Cheerios, these different colored dyes, they're actually poisons. All these seed oils we've been eating for years. Canola oil, what a flipping joke that is. It's a, it's a friggin' motor lubricant. We're pouring this stuff in our bodies? Putting our bodies in a high state of inflammation? No, this, this whole game's over with. And I'll tell you what, Big Pharma's gonna get it too. And I'm in there with them. Dr. Ken Berry talked about it. He talked about the other day, watch his channel, guys. I want you to watch Anthony Chafee. Anthony Chafee. I think I've got him on my phone here, Anthony Chafee. Let me see if I've got him here, guys. Maybe you can see him. Oh, that's funny. My, my phone doesn't recognize me. Face face ID. See how when I set up this phone, I should have ID'd had my face ID with my head net on. There it is. Okay. Oh, here he is. Here he is talking. Let's see here. Did I ship him to somebody? Who did I ship him to? Yeah, hang on a minute. Hang on, guys. Hang on. He's an MMA and pilot rugby. I know I've had good success, but when I went full carnivore when I was 20, it changed everything. I couldn't get tired. I couldn't run out of energy. I couldn't get sore. The harder I pushed myself, the more my body gave me, and I never found a limit to what I could do. Having rediscovered carnivore again in the last five years, I've rediscovered that. So even though I'm a lot older than I was then, I still have the same exercise tolerance. I don't get sore, and I can push myself without limit. So... How cool is that freaking dude? Guys, I've been following him for years. Anthony Chafee and him, I've been following for years, but I was into this carnivore gig way before, way before I met both of those guys. Guys, these people are on the right page, okay? There's many more out there. You've got Sarah Salvador, you've got Sean Baker. Uh, many, many more, many more. And, and Ken Berry is bringing on now more and more doctors. I'm talking heart surgeons, guys. They're on the table every day, whacking hearts open. Their 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 lifestyle was garbage. They were near diabetic. They were this. They were that. All that's changing. They all went on carnivore diet, guys. They're all following that Dr. Ken Berry and and, and Anthony's way of life. It's freaking great. I'm telling you, it is great. Got to pump up my smoker here a little bit. I got to blow some more smoke up Barack's hiney. Oh, Barack, you're going to get it. I'm telling you, you are going to get it. People are going to throw you under the bus, bro. But anyway, uh, yes, this RFK, uh, RFK, he's coming on board. Tr Trump's going to put him in, in, in control and start getting into big pharma problems and big ag issues and what the heck they've been doing to us for the last 70 years plus 70 plus years of poisoning the, the whole usa guys listen my grandparents my great grandparents they come from they came in here my great grandparents my my great grandma she came in here on a freaking ox cart okay government gave them 100 acres and, and fair um, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Up around Clare. Farwell. That's it. Farwell. Gave them 100 acres. They blasted that forest, cleaned the fields, built a barn, brought in a steam-powered sawmill, built the, built the barn, fenced in 100 acres, started doing plowing this and that when she died guys you ought to seen that farm that thing was pristine they had to update equipment they had this they had to it's still there today none of the family owns it some horse lady has got it now but if you're ever in farwell michigan uh, pull into one of the local stores there and say where's the stone house it's on meridian road guys so if you're just jolly riding around and want to see steve-o's great grandmother's farm it's in Farwell, Michigan. It's on Meridian Road. Pull into one of those little... It's only like a little... 
hardware store and a gas pump is all that town is and say where's the stone house on meridian road and they'll show they'll they'll tell you where it's at and you go see it it's still there today it hasn't burnt down they picked up every stone guys when you look at that house they picked up every stone in that field out there cleaned it up pulled it in on an ox cart and built that house they built the milking parlor they built the entire all this all of the stonework around that barn yes with those field stones all by hand every bit of it so check that out yeah it's it's but from back then to my grandparents to my parents all brainwashed all brainwashed by by our government big ag big pharma my mom rest in peace she was all in with big big pharma whatever they said was it they just threw they she was a oh, she was a doctor's delight sorry mom sorry for that so it is what it is it's brainwashing guys it's friggin brainwashing it's that all of this all of this shenanigans is over with okay Trump's bringing in the right team. We're going to expose stupid corruption and craziness. And the only way you can fight back is, is get your act together. Stop eating the sugar. You can have a treat once in a while, but get on a carnivore diet and watch your life change. Are you sick and tired? Are you sick and tired of Democrats? That's the first thing you got to discover. Are you sick and tired of these people? Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? Are you sick of cancer? Are you sick of diabetes? And the entire laundry list of crap that is happening to your life from upset stomachs to just, oh my, hit the whole laundry list. All because you're eating poison, okay? You have to stop it, change your life around. You're, all these mental institutions, guys, are loaded with people from South America pouring in here, thanks to Joe and Harris, pouring in here to invade our country. Mental institution crazies, okay? And Joe and Harris are mentally ill. You can see that. Joe's totally gone. The only thing he's looking up for, guys, uh, uh, some little baby toast to chew on and an ice cream cone. Yeah. Joe and his baby baby toes, sucking on baby toes and sniffing hair and eating ice cream. Boy, he's a beauty. Yeah, guys. It's going to be some cool stuff happening. We're going to start calling out all these big pharma doctors. I got a bunch of them. Uh, crap's going to hit the fan here with my primary and, and uh, my cardiologist. I haven't had real issues with my urologist. He's a pretty cool laid back dude. But this primary guy I got and this and this cardiologist, they're drug pushing pushing maniacs, okay? That doesn't fix anything. I asked this cardiologist here in my last meeting. Uh, what do you what do you know about uh what do you think of a carnivore diet? Because that's what I am, a carnivore. <laughs> he goes, huh. I, I don't know enough about it to tell you one thing or another. Now, guys, wait a minute. Hold up. Let me think about that. Let me blow some smoke up your ass, okay? Come on. Are you kidding me? Are you flipping kidding me? You don't know a proper human diet and you're trying to repair human beings? Oh, my God. Can you imagine? Can you imagine going into your... Uh, veterinarian said there's something wrong with this cat it's coughing all the time and it's barfing up hairballs what's wrong with this I, I don't know enough about it to uh to tell you one way or the other we'll just start experimenting good god same way with people guys are you kidding me we're not that difficult creatures but if you put the wrong stuff in the pie hole yeah you got problems big problems i'm watching family members uh, friends dying right and left from cancer. Watch my parents go through 30 years of torment, torture. Just, okay, yes, yeah, sign me up, doc. Oh, you think that'll work? Oh, yeah, great. Give me some more of this. Give me some more of that. 
No, we got to think for ourselves, guys. And, and it's all run. And all these doctors and stuff, they're all left wing. They're all left wing. And see, you see the problem? You see, you see the little? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, I've got your blood pressure up now. It's time to bring it down. Come on now. Come on down with old Steve -O. Come on down. Let's get into these hives. I got to play peekaboo in my hives. Let's do it. All right, guys, we got the mark hive. We got the mark hive. Actually, I got a couple of them here. Two are toast. We're going to have to refill them with bees. I hope these aren't toasty. I do see pollen coming in here. The object here, obviously, I'm trying to pump them up and have them build up some resources here. So we can get some, you know, I need resources. I'm hoping this girl's laying in here. She's zapping up a ton of, uh, yeah, she's putting up a lot of nectar here. Lots of nectar. All right, if she pulled two of the outsiders. All right, she's doing her thing here. She's getting some brood built up in here. I like that. I like that. She's got a lot of fresh larvae here. She's doing well here. This is what I like to see. Yeah, she's laying up good in here. I'm not really looking for her. If I see her, I'll show her to you. Here's a nice little frame she's starting to build out on. Yeah, she's laying up a lot of eggs in here. She's bringing us down. She's making some wonky stuff here. They're making a bit of wonky stuff here I don't like. I'm going to shove some of that wonky stuff right over there, like that. Yeah, I'll shove this wonky stuff here. And she's got eggs in here. She's got a ton of eggs. She's hitting this thing good, guys. But to get rid of this wonkiness, I'm going to shove this over right here in the middle. There's bees downstairs. There's bees downstairs, but it doesn't look like they got a whole lot of comb downstairs. I'm just going to keep the food on these on these girls right here. I'm going to keep the food on them. They've been sucking up a quart just about every day. Every day. So yeah, we're going to keep these girls rocking and rolling just hard as we can. All right, guys, let's go into this one here and see what's up. I hope we got a queen in here. Actually, this one don't look too bad. Actually, this one don't look too bad here. Looks like I got quite a bit of action going on in this thing. Nice, nice pollen honey store. Oh yeah. Look at that brood pattern, guys. Yeah, she's doing beautiful, guys. She's doing beautiful here. And they're moving downstairs, too. 
I'm loving this. I'm loving it. Brood, more brood, more brood, more brood, more brood, more brood. Yes. Okay. That's all I need to look at. All I need to look at, guys. Very good queen. Loving it. Loving it. Want more of it. Yes. Yes. All right, we got two hives here. I, by April, these are going to be blown out. They're going to have... <sighs> We're going to have 16 frames of, of material here to work with in April, I mean, uh, end of February. I guarantee it. Don't screw around in these hives a lot. They're working. You've got them going on, right? I'll tell you, we're on a dearth right now. We're on a dearth. Let me tuck this. Let me tuck this gorilla tape in there a little bit to hold them off got some sloppy boxes here I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to rethink my beefies here yeah I'm gonna have to rethink these beefies a little bit I'm getting some warpage I'm getting a little bit of warpage action with my Beefies here. Yeah. They're trying to sneak in. You see the gaps? Alright, I'm gonna way I'm gonna do that. What's happening with my these are fence Lowe's fence pickets. I'm finding they're really super cheap. Uh they're about, I don't know, five sixteen, uh yeah. Five eighths. They're about five eighths. They're not a full, you know, three quarter. And uh, so, yeah, they're. Uh, I'm going to be sealing them some caulk because what's happening? What I'm getting, they're usually wet when I get them, and when I cut them to size and all, you're getting a little bit of this action. And when you get that, then they're going to open up and you can have just enough bee space. But they're holding them back. Yeah, they're holding them back. There's nothing coming in. I'm, I'm just feeding these bees. So there's nothing, nothing coming in. So they're really super robby. And if any of these girls are faltering a little bit, <laughs> they're going to get their ass kicked. Okay. Like, they're going to be something like Nasty Nancy, you know, Nancy Pelosi. She's really getting her gas kicked right now, and she's not. See how sad she is, you know? It's so bad. It's so sad, guys. It's so sad that she's so sad, you know? But, you know, if you keep screwing with people and screwing with people and not being honest and just untrustworthy this is stuff that happens you end up getting your 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 butt hurt you get butt hurt so i don't want these girls butt hurt so you have to keep tight joints here and look how clear those jars are you know how i'm keeping those real clear without the algae getting in them they're right out here in full sun every five gallons of, of uh, liquid feed i make up I'm putting eight drops of tea tree oil in my mix tank. And that tea tree, it's not super strong smelling when I dump it in a five, but it's enough to keep down uh, the fungus, the mold in these tanks. See my, see my tank here? There's no, there's, it's all clear looking stuff. And look at these girls, they've already drank a full they're drinking a quart a day out here, guys, of this feed. And in here, they've eaten... Uh, that tube I filled up with pollen sub here about a week ago, and they just about got it completely ate up. Yeah. We've got... 
we've got four colonies right here we need to go into real quick we'll take just a quick quick peek here and see how all of our uh, Republican bees are doing what you heard me right you heard me right Republican bees that's all I raise why do I raise Republican bees you ask yeah guys they're, they're Republican bees for the simple fact they get the job done Jeez, are we out here just for a free lunch or what? No, they're hardworking, and that's why I keep hardworking Republican bees. Now, the majority of them are Carnolian Italian crosses, and they can get pissy at times, and trust me, I, uh, I'm a professional on Italian queens. How do, you, how do I know that? Because I married one. I've been married for 51 years, guys. And trust me, an Italian queen can get real pissed if you don't treat her right, okay? Just a little just a little heads up for you young whippersnappers. Alright. See, this is a clean jar too. Look at that. No algae in there at all. Lots of bees in the feeder hole. Let's see how pissy these little bitches are today. Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright, I don't see any... This is something I was gonna make up, but look at here. Just look at here, this beetle barn, completely out of commission. And I didn't make up any, I got in a hurry for this video. I had a request for a video. So I had to get out here and get this done. Cause whenever I get a request for a video, I have to, you know, whenever a subscriber asks me, Steve, I'll get it done. It's my job, I gotta get it done, okay guys? Uh, what do we got here, boys and girls? What are my girls doing? I see empty, empty, about empty. What I don't see and what I love is no beetles. Okay? No freaking beetles. I'm, I'm loving my new eyes, guys. My new eyes, guys. My loving my new eyes. I went to, I got my cataracts done. And now Steve has got 20 20 vision on a distance. But I got to have bifocals for up close. So I got these readers going on. So, so when I went into the, the uh, eye place today, this morning, I was busy this morning, guys. Busy, busy. I went and took Miss Daisy for breakfast. Then we went to the grocery store. Uh, I threw stuff in the cart when Miss Daisy pushed it around. I asked her if I could push the cart. She said, no, I'll just tell you what to do and you do it. <sighs> hey, guys, just do what they say, okay? Don't give them any heat. Just do it. Do what they tell you to do, okay? Life will be so much better for you. So anyway, we did that, and then I came back, and then my neighbor, Ed... I asked him about scaffolding the other day. He said, yep, we got scaffolding. I got to go to my son's shop and get it. So we loaded up, went over there, picked up scaffolding. So tomorrow, I got my son and my nephew. They're all coming over. We're gonna attack the front of my garage. That all that front of my garage has got to get refaced. I got some water infiltration with these hurricanes and stuff, and we've got damage there. So we got to get that done. So yeah. So old Steve O's been a busy little boy today. Yep, little nectar happening there. They're a little testy. They're bumping me, you know, they you feel them bumping you. Just back them down a little bit. Don't blowtorch these bees. Don't blowtorch them. They hate that. You're just infuriated. You crank up these little girls now. They're not going to appreciate it, okay? Look at this. Look at this live action here. Look at this live action. This is what Steve-O loves. I am loving this. I've triggered these bees by feeding them, guys. I'm telling you. 
that other frame there just as big this thing's going to explode here really fast guys what i'm going to do though to speed this operation up i'm going to do a little checkerboard here i'm dropping this in between i got two we got good weather guys we got good weather i mean we got some kick-ass bee making weather here in sunny florida always remember on when you're doing a beefy beehive okay when you're doing a beefy beehive you build the stevo beefy beehive here's your entrance make sure you pry these back you see right down in here i want bee space you see over here not so much that's the little that's the little drawback of a stevo beefy okay they're not like a, a, a date ant hive langstrop hive you've got slop here but the, what i like about a beefy here's the other plus with a beefy couple things especially with an eight i keep bragging up my own stuff guys you know i just keep blowing i just keep blowing smoke up my own booty you know uh sorry about that uh yeah it's it's a screen bottom you got a cleat here you see the screen comes all the way to here it's a pallet cleat is what it is so the hive constantly breathes i can get away with this in florida you're not going to probably do this in michigan the bees are all going to freeze to death but in sunny florida i can do this no problem even in the coldest of winter here in florida you can get down to freezing here what happens with these hives they just cluster right here all these little furry little monkeys they cluster here and they get around and they have body heat and they'll keep the queen warm and the brood warm but bore in one and seven eighths hole here put you one one screw here a little piece of pallet wood dip it in tall earth eco-friendly preservative now you got a little entrance if you if you got a weak hive you can tweak it a little bit see this hive's kind of strong so you can open it up a little you want to move this hive to my next location where's that going to be it's going to be on saw palmetto and gallberry in the spring we're going to hit the dirt run in, in april and we're going to pull out of there in june and get these bees to the waterfront we're going to make some cabbage palm we're going to make mangrove honey and we're going to start going into pepper when that pepper comes here come the hurricanes our ass unless i'm laid up in bed guys hey i'm getting my bees off that waterfront now i'm telling you i see the first little bit of one of these numbers coming off of of uh yeah you know africa i see one of these coming which africa is right over there guys right over there I see one of these coming my way. My bees are coming off the waterfront and they're coming into base camp right here. And, and I'll tell you what, I got a big blo wind blocker here. I got a wind blocker there. I got a wind blocker here. I got a wind blocker here. Hey, let her rip, baby. I'm ready. So they'll come back here. First of September, bam, we're, we're busting all these hives 16 ways from Sunday. I want to get 25. I want to try to get up to 40 colonies. 40. What we'll do there, what we'll do there is make bees and get ready for 26 too. We'll have fat hives like this going into 26. Honey production hives on the waterfront. I want to get at least, I'm going to say 20. 20 hey if we get 20 we get close to, we could get close to two barrels of honey guys yeah we get we could get close to 1200 pounds of honey at ten dollars a pound hello hello start paying the bills around this place a little bit that's what miss daisy would say you want to show me the money honey show me the money honey that's what she says Hey, you got to do what they say, guys. Do what they say, and your life will be so much better. All right, I'm liking that girl. I'm liking this girl here. What do we got here? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, baby. Talk to Steve-O. 
and give me some. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Oh! You know what, guys? You know what here? Again, again, you see this thing's out of commission. This thing could have 50 beetles in it. I don't know. But I'll tell you, my next trip in... That's why I like this little tool right here. You can pick these up at Lowe's. You see that name on that? I'll tell you, I've been, I switched over. I got the two old, old timey, old timey hive tools that I've used since the 60s. They're in retirement. They're sitting in a bucket in there. And I saw that thing and I said, hey, that thing's, that thing's got a point. I can clean beetle barns. I can scrape off. I can scrape off crap off the hives. Yeah. So I like it. All right, I don't know what we have here, but I'll tell you what, this puppy is loaded with bees. The, another beauty of my, you see how I'm prying these out? You see that most of these guys have the hook tools and all that. I don't need to do all that hook tool action for the simple fact for the simple fact, I've got all kind of room right here. I can do this. You see that? I can do that with a beefy. All right. I can do this with a beefy. What do we got here? We've got a good bit of uh, surplus honey. I don't see we're going ape crazy with brood just yet. No, we're not going ape crazy with brood just yet. God, I hope we got a queen in here, guys. A lot of pollen. I'm not liking this. I'm hoping I got something here on this one, guys. Yes. Yes, okay. Okay, Steve-O's happy. Steve-O's happy. Steve-O's happy. I don't see any crippled, crippled wing viruses. Look at this girl here, guys. She has slowed down. They've slowed down for the simple fact we're going into winter here, guys. Okay? I just want to make sure I got queens here because I don't need to lose any more queens. I may have to just buy one. If I see something where we've got a lot of stuff and... Uh, we got a lot of resources here, but no queen. I'll have to buy one and shove in here. Because I can't make them right now. I don't see any drones happening here whatsoever. No drone action. There is one beetle right there. I don't like that, but it is what it is. Yes. Get that moved back because the entrance is over yonder. So you want this ga gapping in here. I've been putting my uh, beetle barns on the front side here. I probably should do an alcohol wash here pretty quick. To see where we stand with our mite loads. All right, we got this girl here. We've only got two left. Here, I 
Yeah, I'm seeing quite a bit of beetle action here. This is not good here. Here tomorrow. Quite a few beetles here. I'm coming back in here tomorrow and put a couple traps on this thing. And I think I'm going to beetle grease this baby too. Yeah, too many, too many beetles. Not good. Okay, I'm feeling good here. I'm feeling good, guys. They're a little testy. This colony is a little testy, but I'm feeling good. But my hurricane hives. This girl here is a badass. She came off uh, four, four other of her sisters died in the hurricane. She's drinking syrup like crazy too. But I got to uh, I think what I'm going to do is beetle grease. Thaw me out some beetle grease tomorrow. And beetle grease these and put in all new beetle barns and all these fresh ones okay guys it's been three weeks since i've been into these hives and uh, i've been slacking a little bit in the hive uh, bee beekeeping department because i got so much on my flipping plate i mean i'm out here getting my rocks off out front here in the driveway guys i mean get do you understand did you you know, I, you guys think think weird things, getting my rocks off. I, you know what I'm talking about. I'm going that loading my truck with 740 pounds of rocks, unloading them. Yeah, that's how Steve O gets his rocks off here lately. You know. So anyway, uh, doing that, and now I got this other project, uh, tree work. We got tree work coming. Oh my lord, this just goes on and on on the old Stevo farm. But if you're a farmer, that's what it, you do. You just got you. You pinch one snakehead at a time and throw it over your shoulder and grab another snakehead, pinch it, throw it over your shoulder, and that's how you work through all the snakes. And that's exactly the same way we're working through the Democrats. We're going to pinch one snakehead at a time throw it over your shoulders and start like mr trump said and i'm on his team you guys know that starting january we're flipping this freaking obama mess we've gotten into for the last 12 years that's just nuts trump had it going 
They t stole it, took it away. Now Trump gets it back. Guess what? Our prayers have been answered. So let's look forward to 25, guys. It's going to be a cool year, I'm telling you. It's going to be a cool year. We're going to kick ass in Big Farm. We're going to kick ass with Big Ag. We're going to get common sense approaches, not only to beekeeping, but our health. We're going to be healthy again. We're getting shed of cancer. We're getting shed of diabetes. We're getting shed of a huge laundry list of diseases. We're going to live, to, all of us live to 125 plus, okay? What? You think that's hard to do? No! It's a cakewalk if you do it right. Just ask Anthony Chafee, he'll tell you. You seen that dude in the earlier part of this video? Check that dude out. He's freaking Tarzan. And he practices what he preaches. So watch his channel. Watch Dr. Ken Barry and watch Steve O's channel because we're going to kick ass.